Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and last time we finished the Sports Tribe, and some people expressed the sentiment that they consider Take Up Archery the hardest level in the game. So if that bears out, and that is in fact true, then it should be pretty easy goings from here on out. Now we're on the Shadow Tribe, we've got Nitram the Huge. Nitram is uh, Martin backwards it looks like, is there a Martin involved in the production? That would be something worth digging up. I did not do the research. I did not know that this would be the name of the level. We got the Twister. Oh, boy. Uh, one of everything, in fact. Uh, except for one slot, which is not filled. So what have we got going on here? We got the Stomper, which could conceivably get through all of this, looks like, in one shot. If I stomped in the right place. So that would... That would make for some... Uh, for some deaths probably so who needs to go that's the digger right there right yes digger okay and then we go through here obviously with the fencer or no just the basher just the basher and then the tardis is up the way there's almost no extra manipulation that needs to be done here uh except maybe twister -fying. Okay, so why don't we just wait till everybody has had a go here. Uh, is there anybody we can get? I don't think there's really any need to uh, send somebody ahead. It looks like everybody is pretty safe for the most part. So let's kind of just let it go until everybody is out. That seems to me to be ideal. Okay, so we've got, we'll just wait until we have 60 lemmings out and then we'll stomp at an edge so that we only use one stomper or one digger going all the way down. Okay, we're filling up, we're filling up the place, okay. All right, it would seem, okay, it seems we're good to go. I'm gonna get as close to a lemming at the edge as possible and start making my way downtown. Hopefully this works, because I think we'll hit steel at some point. So they should just all mill through and, yeah, just everybody goes, everybody mills around until until the next time we hit a little gap here all right this is a moving pretty quick so far with the fast forward function at least uh yeah i don't see much in the way of actual difficulty happening here now we just gotta now we just gotta make sure we have someone bash in the right spot everybody is coming out all right oh we have one uh we have one straggler that might prove useful but I think I'll just have somebody do it at the wall here there we go bash through and then up and around I wonder if the I wonder if that's just a background affectation lights going on the house it looks like somebody's having a party or uh, or using heavy artillery at home which is uh, very much not recommended uh, let's go ahead and I think I think fencing through the roof will then get us out of here uh, should it not let's see how that works out Let's do some quick fencing. Why bother with the roof? Actually, it looks like there's something coming out of that roof. That could have been dangerous. That may have been a trap. Or it may just be stuff coming out of the chimney. I don't know. But that level proved pretty easy. And I think I did it... I think I did it in a way that maybe you're not entirely supposed to. But it worked out for me. Yeah, that was definitely a lot easier than taking up archery. I think instead of taking up archery in the future, I'll just hang out with Nitram the Huge. Let's move on. This was that was pretty quick and pretty easy, so that bodes well for uh for our prospects today. Let's go on and let's move forward. Twin bleeps. Like uh, what word is being bleeped out there? We got flamethrowers, ropers, and fillers, and not many of either. So three minutes to three minutes to do the twin bleeps. Is that a Twin Peaks pun? If so, it's not a very good one. Uh, kind of a slant rhyme deal going on there. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got a single screener here. I don't... Th this may be a gap. There may be just the itsy bitsiest teeny weeniest gap going on here. So we do have... Let's see what, let's see what we got going here. We've got four and four. Uh, how do we wanna how do we wanna handle this? Let's go ahead and uh, 
let's plow through here okay that kind of does that thing where they end up climbing back up through the terrain so I don't think that's a terribly useful thing to be doing uh, let's just shoot through here there we go oh yeah that gets them trapped in there so we need somebody to no you can't fill that up let's go ahead and uh okay we may need to be a little more precise with this then that might might take some doing okay I think we can get a filler going there then um okay I'm gonna get a filler going uh right here there we go oh wow boy that pumped them way out that's that's pretty awesome actually let's do let's do another one we may be able to do this on both sides that will make it easier to reach somewhere with the roper um roping will then get us out and then we have to do something symmetrical on the other side okay this might i think this is just a background detail so oh complete swing and a miss okay so yeah you end up i think doing the same thing on both sides really yeah you want this to be you want this to be good yeah so that, that when the filler does the work okay filler fills that hole up and then same thing over here yeah get them out of there easy breezy lemon squeezy there we go so let's just work both sides at the same time then yeah and I think we're pretty good to rope up is the I you know I may be mistaken I think the phone I'm trying to shoot into the phone booth here but I think that may be I think that may be an obstacle or a background a piece of background as well all right there we go actually no reason we couldn't have somebody fill that up no reason we couldn't have the flamethrower guy fill that up actually but you need room for the bucket that's actually of somewhat paramount importance there we go same deal here all right so now now I'm going to attempt to shoot up to here and I completely missed I should have done it from the edge this is tougher than it looks especially with how small everything in this game this is this is one of those times when my old man vision is really really doing me in here all right fill you up get this side going as well all right and fill your hole fill your pie hole with pie holy goodness there we go all right so i think i'm gonna have to shoot from maybe right here no i keep doing the thing dang it it's not latching in the right spot son of a gun maybe i'm maybe i'm approaching this wrong but i don't really feel like i am i don't know though we'll see i feel like this is a background detail uh my solution that i'm going for right now kind of hinges on that actually there we go that's a much better shot and yes it is background okay so yeah the only thing to be done now is to is to shoot through this and i hope i do it the right way there we go yeah now so now i just have to do the same thing over here this is gonna be a little dicey but it's done and there we go okay so now yeah just make sure you do it in one shot by pausing that gets everybody out so it's kind of a symmetrical solution we have two more ropers maybe oh well i had a chance if i screwed it up i so i didn't have to start over all those times i guess technically i could have uh just taken another shot but i think i think the two extra ropers may be there for a margin of error or i just did it more quickly than more quickly and more official efficiently efficiently it's good to enunciate your words whatever the case that was uh, actually not so bad a level so very good then still not bad in the shadow tribe shadow tribe actually proving very easy but you know when you have the advantage of stealth like the shadow ninjas do then uh then things do definitely go your way the pancake factory nine minutes to beat a single screener it looks like that seems 
seems unnecessary. They must just be wanting you to focus on the puzzle here, which involves bashers and glue pourers and one jetpacker. The one jetpacker may be going it alone. Uh, I do not care for the jetpack compared to some other uh, airborne tasks. Oh, yes. So, for sure. For sure he's going to be doing that. Well, we got three traps here. So, okay, what happens... This is not so difficult either. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get the glue going now. I think I can bash through the wall before it moves forward. There we go. Oh no, the glue doesn't actually go over the. I think I did. I did. I lay waste to some of these somehow. Okay. All right. So if I go. Shouldn't that have gone over the way? All right, so I'm definitely gonna be using the guy to, all right. Okay, so that takes more than one bit of glue pouring to, so yes, that's why you need the jetpacker because this isn't something you can do like in a walking capacity, I don't think. Let's get him up and over. No, what are you doing? You are messing around, you are, there we go. Well, no, well, we need somebody facing left then, I suppose, to do the jetpack thing. Because once he falls down, he'll just face the right. Okay, there we go. All right. Hopefully we don't get you turned around too badly here. There we go. That's perfect. All right, so now I'm going to be pouring a little glue over this. Looks like. Okay, yeah. Got to get over that at least. So that leaves... Two more bits of glue pouring for here. I think I'm gonna need at least, okay, I'm gonna need two glue pourers down here, and then maybe two up here. We'll see, we might have extras. But I'm gonna need, okay, I'm gonna need to be on this though. All right, there we go, there's one bit of glue, and then I'm gonna need a second. Okay, maybe the second was slightly unnecessary, but we'll see. Hopefully I don't end up bashing through my whole work here by having two lines of it going. But I want to make sure that first I can actually make my way to the exit. This doesn't seem too difficult. So, smash or trap ahoy. Alright, and we're going to want to use our glue up top here. There we go. Time to pour that glue... Oh, no, not so much. Oh, yeah, no, you can just do it like that. Well, you, mm, yeah, I misplaced that. So, yeah, you can do that. Oh, yeah, not from up here because it will just replace pixels when there's nowhere to go but down. So I need to do it as close to the edge as possible. Sort of. That may be why they give you the five. Okay, so yeah, so you do only need one glue pour down here. That gives me three to work with here, which I don't think is going to be strictly necessary. No, I did it too early again, but okay, I have a bit of margin of error here. I can mess up some, so I need to do it a little higher up the hill. I keep wanting, I keep feeling inclined, <laughs> no pun intended, to do it near the uh, edge here, but yeah, I need to give myself, oh gosh, why? And why did you why did you not do it there? So Okay, so yeah. You got to get kind of down the way, but also maybe there's a better place to do it. Like if I Like if I bash through here and then through here, maybe that makes it easier to do it from like here. But I would hit my I would hit my face on the thing going that way. All right, let's try it from here. Boy, yeah, that doesn't give me a whole lot of breathing room. Oh, they nailed it though. Oh no, that didn't. Uh, yeah, that didn't give me the coverage though. Whoops, my bad. Yeah, so I do need one left. I need to actually get over this and then have one left for covering the button. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay, realized I can also obviate the need for a glue pour up here by just jetpacking him far enough over. So that, that's nice. That's not though. Good lord, what a rookie mistake. Come on, come on. 
I was gonna say come on Uncle Roundy, but that was in no way close to being my fault. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to get. Okay. Let's try to get as close to the edge as we can. This is gonna require multiple glue pours. How close am I? That's pretty close. That's, I like it, sort of. Let's do another one. There we go. And then it's gonna pour again, and I'm gonna need one here. I think I actually succeeded in covering the button with the, with the next to last one that I used. I think I did it much better that time, actually. I think I did everything much better there. All right, let's go ahead and have a basher come through here. Pretty easy to orient it to the left. There we go, another pretty simple one. That's, these are, the Shadow Tribe is really easy so far. Easier even than I think the beach was. And that was the so-called introductory tribe though. It ramped up pretty quickly. I'm liking Shadow Tribe so far. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff here. They're keeping it really tight with the puzzles, not giving you very many tasks to work with. So there aren't a lot of red herring jobs really to influence your mind in finding a solution. But it's going really well in any event. Let's fit in another one today. I'm feeling it. I'm doing, man, we are here for it. Let's do this up. Shadow Tribe halfway done. Level five and feeling fine. Swing a ding ding, baby. Yeah, once again, not many tasks to be used here. The only one we have multiples of is the platformer. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it should be pretty easy to figure this out. Four minutes with such a with such a finite allotment of jobs, uh, you can you can find the solution pretty quickly. And the shadow levels are also small and pretty well localized so oh i see uh-huh so we're gonna be hipping and hopping and bipping and bopping um let's see if the okay get everybody to here and yeah i'm gonna be going around and laser blasting everybody out okay that makes sense okay so i think i see it here so we're gonna go over the top with you and i need to get that chain swinging actually pretty quickly so Okay, go, 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 go. Wow. Maybe I should do that first, actually. Let's go ahead and get the chain swinging. So that, yes. So that I can then assign a rock climber. There we go. Rock climber, slider. And if it doesn't just happen to come, by the way. No! Narrow miss! Okay, but yeah, you definitely want to get the chain going first. So here we go. All right, and then we need a climber. That was not the one I wanted to be doing that actually. All right, chain gang, chain gang in the house. Here we go. All right, and then, and then, there we go, boop, right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh my gosh, yeah, so this is really, this is simple stuff, this is, this is very elementary. I would have made this kind of the level one tribe if I were them. Oh, I'm seeing a thing though. Well, no, no, it shouldn't matter. Okay, I was gonna, I was foreseeing a problem with the laser blaster, but not so much a problem actually. As soon as I build over the water, I can laser blast in any direction I want. So there, that takes care of that. All right, go ahead, one more. Shouldn't even need this third one actually. We should be able to laser blast them out just as soon as I finish here. Why do we have three platformers? Maybe they didn't think people were going to get pixel perfect. Um, oh, I think I might see why. No, no, it shouldn't be a problem. If I just, if I just blast up through here. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a death fall. Yeah, I was going to say, they'll just get stunned going that way and it should be just fine. All right, well, <laughs> you know what? I feel like tempting the fates almost. I, I feel like we're doing really well here, and I feel like maybe we should give a fifth level a try today. Holy cow, they are we're just piling lemmings into TARDISes like it ain't even a thing. I feel like, you know, I'm up for even more action. I think we should keep doing it. The Shadow Tribe is just going lickety split but i'm tempting the fates i'm tempting it with an unprecedented 
fifth level in this episode. I am really raring to go here. This is this is amazing. The school gate. Okay, this one is a little bigger, finally. We did get a little bit bigger of a level. We've got Jumpers, Fencers, the Super Lemming, who I bet goes for it, and the Attractor. Haven't seen Attractors in a while. Uh, so, let's see. Let's get them... Let's get it going. Let's fire it up. Let's let everybody into the school gate. School is in session. I am the one doing the schooling here. Okay, so yeah, we've got a little bit more... Uh, oh yeah, we've got a little bit tougher of a... Of a, of a platforming exercise here. The platformer is going to be used up here, it would seem. Uh, definitely going to be filling in right here. So coming around the way. Oh, we've got a cannon now. We have something to be manipulated. We have a, we have a device. Uh, not unlike the chain, probably. So we have to figure out where to launch lemmings. I'm going to... I'm going to move that forward a little, assuming a 45 degree angle is the way to go there. So if I let everybody out, how much, what do I have in the way of, okay, there's a fencer there. How am I going to get everybody past, what kind of manipulation tools do I have here? Jumpers, lots of jumpers. Um... So yeah, the problem is going to be getting everybody maybe to here? Well, what do I have? Oh, I have some ropers too. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and rope. Hopefully I can move quickly. Okay, no, I let a lemon go and I didn't want that. But that gets ev that does get everybody the top. I'm actually gonna I'm okay. I'm actually gonna do a bit of a skippy skip here. Uh, I'm gonna let the first lemon go and do the roping, and then the second one I'm just gonna have hop across. There we go. And then second lemon here. There we go. That gets everybody going. And then this one can also hop across. Oh, that's a bit troublesome, though. That's gonna be and that's gonna be really tough for. Okay, he's gonna need to come back around the way and fence upwards through that. Okay, so I'm gonna want a super limb over the roof. Okay, that's what the super limbing is for. Okay, so that gets everybody going. So rope. Yeah, I should only need one rope for this. Okay, so yeah, you go up through here. Yes, get onto the rooftop and save the day, though. Why are, why are you going left? That's not the idea. The idea is you should get over the entire roof. Oh, because he was facing left when he started flying, or when he started flying, I think. So once he landed, he would go left again. Oh, ah, silly me. All right, whatever, but... I think I've got the general thrust of the level. Again, not really a hard one. Alright, he's finally over the roof. Good. Alright, let's crash into the stained glass here. That should work out just fine. And then, let's see. We don't have a climbing task, really. So... So... We're going to need somebody... Okay, yeah, here's where... Okay, cool. So now is when we're going to be fencing, I think. So now we just have another jumper come over the way once that's handled. Hopefully not all 60 lemmings are out by that point. I don't think they will be. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right. We're, uh, we're edging up on some tricky territory here, but I think he's going to get through the whole through the whole deal. That's, that's actually nice. That eliminates having to step up. That's... Okay, yeah, that makes me think I'm really on the right track here. Because, okay, yeah, we just get a jumper going. And then the roper gets everybody out at the end. So now I just have to... Okay, now I just have to angle the cannon in the correct spot. I hope this does not kill the lemming to be shot out of the cannon. I don't think it would be, because I don't see any way up there otherwise. Other than with a roper. And that would not allow me to get the rest of my troops out. So I'm going to go ahead and maneuver it. I think I haven't maneuvered to where I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and get in. So the lemon gets in the cannon. Perfect. All right. 
Okay, well, that worked out pretty much perfectly then. So we're going to go up the way. We're going to be filling the hole twice. I don't think it will... I don't think it will go uphill. So I think we need to be pretty quick about this. So I need to have him on it. Good, good, good. Walking along the way. I think everybody is well and truly out by now. Okay, there we go. And then... Okay, yeah. Did not need the second one, but that's okay. I was just being safe. Better safe than sorry. Just let that pour down and then... Our one platformer goes right here and everybody gets the end. So now it's just a matter of roping out correctly. Which should be pretty easy, right? I would imagine. There we go. A perfect shot. I am a grappling hook master. There we go. And then they're walking to the exit. And pretty soon all the friends will be following suit. So, But I think only one lemming can go in the cannon at a time. So this may be kind of slow going, actually. Okay. So yeah, only one lemming gets at the cannon at the time. At a time. So yeah, it's slow. But is it going to be too slow? I don't know. Let's see just how much time this takes. This must be where the nine minute part of the level comes in. Because every lemming is going to need to get in the cannon individually. Oh yeah, that is so slow and not terribly efficient if I do say so myself so we'll just skip to the end of this it, I think 60 lemmings or 59 lemmings should be able to take care of themselves in the time allotted but let's just skip to the end of it and find out for sure okay so the last lemming will be getting in the cannon with about two min two and a half minutes left which I think is good enough to that's not a two and a half minute walk. It is pretty long, it is pretty tedious, but as long as it's successful, it's fine with me. It can be as tedious as it wants, as long as I'm pretty much assured of victory. So there we go, let's fast forward in the exit. The moon is smiling at us, congratulating us on a fifth level beaten in a single day. I don't think we've done that yet. I'm gonna take it as I'm finally really getting the rhythm of the game. Took long enough, I mean, five tribes in, and I, I would hope I'm getting the rhythm of the game by now. I am having a lot of fun with it, I'll say that. Shadow Tribe is going uh, just absolutely sterlingly spectacular so far. Let's hope that continues next time.